So, you have imported this cyberpunk hacker character to your project and are wondering how he is set up and how to use him in your cinematic or your game. Let's have a quick look at him and help you get started. If you have ever worked with modular assets before, you might be familiar with the concept of prefabs, where different pieces or components are brought together to a bigger asset in a blueprint. This is also the same concept that is used in the MetaHuman setup, if you have ever worked with MetaHumans before. The hacker consists of a number of skeletal meshes, all rigged to the new Unreal Engine 5 SK mannequin skeleton. You have the body, the outfit components, pants, jacket, boots, hood, cap, face mask, shades, gloves and a backpack. And there are a number of different hacker devices that are also set up as skeletal meshes. All those components are assembled in a single actor blueprint, which you can find in the main hacker folder. Let's open it up. You see all the components here, which are all parented to the body. To make sure that the outfit is following the animations of the body, all components have an Enable Master Pose node assigned in the construction script. And that means all you have to do to animate the character is select the body, set Use Animation Asset here, and select the animation. Because the skeleton is the same as the Many and Quint skeleton, the default UE5 animations can be directly selected. You can do the same in the level. Just drop the BP Hacker Blueprint in your level, select the body component and assign the animation. If you are working on a cinematic, you can add the Hacker Blueprint to your sequence. Here, you can either work with the control rig and create your keyframe animation, or delete the control rig and assign an animation to the body. What about UE4 animations? If you plan to use animations that run on the UE4 mannequin skeleton, this will not work out of the box. You will have to retarget the animations using the IK retargeting workflow in UE5. There are many YouTube tutorials on how to do that, make sure to check them out. Now, how about the materials? For better performance, the character doesn't come with many materials. For the most part, there is only one material slot for the outfit and the devices. However, for higher texture quality, the textures are split over several UDIM tiles. UDIM stands for U-Dimension and is a way to have a single texture asset that uses several UV spaces. If you open up the textures, you will see that they contain several UV tiles instead of just one. For this setup to work in Unreal Engine, you need to enable Virtual Texture Support. Go to your project settings, search for Virtual and make sure this option, Enable Virtual Texture Support, is checked. You will have to restart the engine and your shaders will have to be recompiled first. The Material instance has a number of parameters you can play with. There is the color brightness, so you can make the outfit a bit brighter or darker. And then there is the color tint option. You can choose a color down here and then adjust the intensity of the color tint here. You can increase or decrease the normal intensity and play with the roughness value, for example if you want the outfit to look more wet. And a final feature of the hacker model is the third person character blueprint, which you can also find in the main hacker folder. You can either go to your project settings and under Maps and Modes set your default game mode, select third person game mode and then under default pawn class assign the BP Hacker third person blueprint. Or you can do the same in the world settings tab with the game mode override function. Then when you play the level you will have the hacker as your player character. If you want to add other components to the character like for example some weapons on the back just add them to the blueprint, parent them to a bone socket, for example spine 5, and scale and position them how you like. That's it. If you have further questions or run into any trouble, drop a comment and feel free to join our Discord, where you can get help on Unreal Engine related stuff. The link is in the video description below. Alright guys, see ya!